Hello everybody, and welcome back to more of our Player Guide series. My name is Zen, and I'm going to be walking you through the crew skills today. Now this is a subject that I've covered at the very beginning when the game launched. However, it's a little outdated, that video. So I figured this would be a good time to, to throw in, you know, a guide on how the actual crew skills work in Star Wars, because it can get a little confusing. Plus, there's some nuances that you, uh, you need to understand when going on to this. However, this video should be a pretty short one, so thankfully it's not as as long as the past few. Now if you're new to the game you may be asking what what are crew skills because you know it's kind of confusing. Well it's basically your your crafting skills within the game right so you can make armor or consumable items and stuff like that. So your typical way of of generating revenue as well within the game and a lot of people don't use it that way however it uh, it is a very nice way to make money but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. And the max amount that you can have per character of the crew skills is three. Now, this isn't really too relevant because if you aren't a subscriber, you won't get three. You know, the, the number is much lower based on what status you have on the account. Uh, you can upgrade it, but for the most part, most of you won't have three slots. So anything I say regarding three slots is, is fairly irrelevant. But one thing you do need to know is that the companions for the crew skills do 99% of the work, you know, if, if you're crafting, you actually send them out to craft and they'll return within a given period of time with the item. Or if you're, you know, gathering, you send them out to get stuff and they, they come back. When you're out in the field, you could be like healing up and then send your companion to go get something that's like near you, but just right clicking on it. And they'll come back uh, with, with the items, which is, is fairly convenient and it actually saves you a lot of time running around. But there are three main types of crew skills. There's gathering, crafting, and mission. And gathering skills are fairly self-explanatory. You know, you use them to gather items to make things. So with the different ones, you have four of them. You have archaeology, which is used to gather crystals, bioanalysis, which is used to gather plants, scavenging, which is used to gather metals, and slicing, which you use to open up lockboxes throughout the world. But you can also use slicing to bring back certain items that are required to make augments and augmentation kits. And crafting skills are also fairly explanatory. You use them to craft things, but one thing that we need to mention is all of these, I, I may mention what they're able to craft, but there are many other things that they're able to do. I'm just not gonna go through all of them because we don't have the time. And I mean, honestly, it's more fun to find out on your own, like, oh, look, I could craft a mount. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of surprising, but for most of that stuff, I'll leave those things out and I'll only go over the main things here. So armor tech can make heavy aim gear or medium cunning gear. Arms tech, you can make weapons and barrels to put into customizable weapons. Artifice, you can use to make color crystals, enhancements, and hilts for lightsabers. Biochem, you can use to make consumables such as health packs, stims, and adrenals, but you can also make implants with them. Uh, Cybertech makes mods and armors or armorings for, for customizable armors. And you can also make grenades, which is kind of fun. And, and mounts is another thing that they can make uh, few and far between, but they are there. And then synth weaving, you can make light willpower gear or heavy and medium strength gear. As far as the mission skills go, these are a little different. You don't usually see these kind of skills within MMOs at all, actually. And they're, they're kind of strange. So you have four of them. The first one is diplomacy. And just like gathering, you can send your guys out. But what you can't do, you can't be in the world and then gather diplomacy stuff. You have to send your companions out in order to gather anything from this stuff. But diplomacy will give you medical supplies and light and dark side points based on which missions you're completing, which is kind of cool. You can actually balance it out so that way you're not getting too much of the other. You can uh, you know, get light side points and then do some of the dark side missions and if, if you're a dark side character and balance it out or you could go all one direction. Then you have Investigation, which doesn't really give you too much uh, interesting stuff. However, it does give you research compounds that you can use for like arms tech. Uh, treasure Hunting can give you high quality crystals and gems, but it can also give you lock boxes to open up and it could have items in it. Then Underworld Trading will give you Underworld Metals and Cloth. But one thing to mention is all of these mission skills can give you companion gifts, which you can use to get up your companion affection. Now the typical combos that you'll find here with the crew skills are stuff like 
uh, armor mech with scavenging, right? So you'll get the scavenging materials and metals in order to make this stuff with armor mech, and then you'll need underworld trading in order to make like the higher quality stuff because you'll need the underworld metals. Another combo you'll find is biochem with bioanalysis. Obviously, those two go together. And then with diplomacy, because you get the medical supplies in order to make high level stims and adrenals and health packs. However, none of that is really relevant. And I said this at the beginning, most of you won't have three slots to use in order to get you know full effect of these combos on a single character. But what you can do is you can spread it out among multiple characters. So say you have three or four characters, maybe even two, you can, you can use the slots that you have and combo different uh, crew skills with it. So you can have one character that is all about the gathering and one character who's all about the crafting, or you can have one character who has a crafting skill and a gathering skill, and then have another character who has maybe the mission skill acquired for that and another gathering skill for it in order to get as much yield of the stuff you can so then you can craft it. So there's different options you have here, and it, it really just requires you getting creative with what characters you're playing currently, because I can't give you a master list of this is how it should be done. Because you're going to play your characters in a you know a fashion that you want to play. Maybe you'll play your main character you know maybe twice a week, and the other characters you'll just hop on and do crew skills with. Or maybe you'll play you know two of your characters an equal amount of time, and then you'll have to figure out you know what crew skill combinations go best with the amount of time that you're putting into those characters. Generally, though, if you're leveling up, having a gathering skill is really nice because while you're out in the world, you can be gathering items. So a lot of people will put all gathering skills on their leveling up characters, gather as much items as they can when they reach max level. They'll nick one of the, the gathering skills and put in a crafting skill instead or a mission skill. But it's also worth noting that anytime that you want to pair things up, you don't have to refer to this guide. I know I, I would love the views because it helps you know me with living because this is how I make my money. But the thing is, you can easily go into your codex and search the crafting skills there. The way you get to your codex is just hitting like L if you haven't rebound it, which will pop up the quest log. And then at the bottom, you just go to codex and you can, you can find the crafting skill there. And that'll actually tell you what crafting skills go with what inside of the codex, which is incredibly helpful. But the last thing you need to know is if you want to make money on crafting skills. I actually put up a guide a while back of how I used to do it. It's a little different now. In fact, it, it changes pretty often with me, but the idea is still the same. And if you if you want to see one, just click the link on the screen uh, with the annotation. It'll take you to that video. And you can learn how to start making money with your crew skills because that's one of the harder things to learn how to do. Hard, It's hard to manage, but uh, that video will also take into account uh, having three active slots now. Later on in these guides, I'll actually come up with a really good video for you guys in order to teach you how to make money efficiently, maybe without having the three slots per character as far as crew skills go, and other little things there as well with how to play the auction house, but we'll talk about that in the future. However, I think that pretty much covers it for crew skills. It, like I said, it is a fairly simple video. There wasn't really a whole lot to talk about here. It's just kind of putting it out on how they, they actually work and and making sure that you guys understand that certain things will work together with others. But for the most part, like I said, it'll change based on the way that you play. So just come up with a way that works for you with getting your, your crew skills to actually level up. And I would suggest doing them, especially if you are like level 20 and you've been playing the game and you haven't gotten a crew skill yet, you probably should. It definitely makes a pretty big difference. But with that being said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. And we shall see you guys next time.